Plimby has arrived. Or is it Dumpy? I don't I don't know. Hello everybody. Oh, yeah, I mean it turns out this is the only game I play now. Just this one game. Any more cursed pizza you found recently? No. There is plenty. But wait until you see my Wordle video. So anyway, yeah, check this out. We're gonna do some Skyrim. Hi everybody, thank you for joining. Yeah, look at that cool stuff. Oh, what happened? What happened? I can't see is what happened. The the box is here. Ugh. Really kind of semi ruins the experience, doesn't it? All right, we've all seen enough. Put on some clothes. Oh, I'm naked. Uh, ooh, hang on. Dwarven plate armor. Uh, no, we want the, the thing of the seasons there. I actually do have to go in there and drop some stuff off. So, uh, oh, oh, that was the thing. So, so anyway, uh, thank you everybody. Welcome. Just starting. Uh, hang on. Uh, I, I have an idea of what I'd like to do today. I, I'm going to get a new axe, and maybe also a new follower. I think I can- I can do both. Uh, Kryken made a mod for this that allows the tw uh, Twitch chat to join in with stuff, but I'm not doing that today because I have other things I'd like to do before we completely turn this game into a shit fest. But also, I have just been, you know, busy this week, and, uh... Vinny, it's getting updated soon anyway, that's good. So then, maybe next week or the week after will be... I mean, I keep saying that, but we're... The quests that I can do that are substantial... ...are definitely less and less. Um, for, you know, for the anniversary edition. Damn it, so close. Oh my god. They're all just staring at me. Vinny, just do story quests? Yeah. I mean, I could, but that's kind of... You know, we've seen a lot of that during the Switch version, and I've I've seen a lot of the story quests already, so... I was hoping to do new stuff. But I'm gonna- today I have to do a story mission, though. So, I mean, a little bit of story missions. Today, the story mission will take us to a new axe. There's a couple cool axes. I did some research on various two-handed axes. And most of them are... a huge pain in the ass to get. And require many, many quests. But there's- there's one in particular that I want to get that I think would be fun, and also... good, and also lead to a new follower. I, I can't get her up there. I don't, I don't know why I'm gonna spend the first ten minutes of this trying to get her... up on the chandelier, but... It just seems like a good use of all of our time. I'm gonna save. Shit. That didn't work. You can't save while holding an object.
Vinny, will the Red Vox Pigeon be giving autographs? Um, type Vine Pigeon in the chat for an official autograph. That, that emote won't be there for long. It's probably going to get moved to better Twitch TV, so enjoy it on Twitch. Yeah, this is bullshit. You can't get that. I, I don't think you can get her up in the chandelier, so never mind. It's pleasing to see you again. I know, Burger. I know. If you want to play bingo, you can. Just type exclamation mark bingo in chat. Alright. Well, it was a nice try. to Dwarven Armor of Illusion as opposed to what do I have here? Dwarven Plate Armor. That's got 86 armor as opposed to one oh two golden saint armor. No. No you're you're good. You probably want to keep wearing what you're wearing. Lead us to our next day. Vinny, I think your house has a pest problem. That seems correct. Thoughts on getting number one on Bandcamp a while back? Did- did I? I thought we only did number two. Which was still very good. I don't think we got number one on Bandcamp. Unless... We did? Vinny, no you got- did you take a picture of that? We were number one at one point? Really? I'm- I- oh! If you have a screenshot, can you- can you let me know about that, please? Cause that's- that's really good. I mean, it's just Bandcamp, but... It's like, um... Uh, you know, for indie bands... That's very, very impressive for me, in my opinion, because... I mean, I, we were up there, I think Sonic Youth had an album up there. <laughs> That's fucking amazing! Like, I grew up listening to Sonic Youth, for no good reason, mind you, because I don't even know if I like their music, truthfully. Uh... I don't think anyone that listens to Sonic Youth actually likes their music. We all just say we do. But no, they're they're good. They they have some really great songs. But anyway, the fact what that now? we were up there at all, this better be good. Like near where Sonic Youth was, I I remember I saw that and I was like, is this real life? What do you want? No, I'm not going to be sneaky, Archer. I just wanted to get extra sneak. Huh? Uh, I finished Eternal Cylinder, by the way. <laughs> yeah, you'll see. You'll see. It was fine. Is how I would describe it. It was, like, it was fine. It went better than the last part did, but you'll see. There's no boner button. Uh, hang on. Okay, we gotta level up. Here we got health. Uh, I mean, it, I it, I don't want to get enchanting. One-handed is almost 50 for some new attacks, but again, I'm- I'm trying to go... Oh, I could do more damage. What do we need? 70 level for sideways power attack. Restoration restore stamina perk? 
more bleeding damage. Limb splitter. Hmm. Will you Pokemang? Uh, I don't know. I don't think I will. Okay, thank you, Elizarin. Yeah, there it is. A best-selling number one. Holy fuck. Yeah, I, I think um, the problem with Arceus is I, I hate it. Uh, so I don't know if I want to play it. It just looks... It, I saw some of the gameplay and it looked a little bit better than I thought in the gameplay department at least. But I don't know if uh, I can't get that yet. Uh, I'm just going to go for more attack. I mean, I'm an orc. You know what I mean? If my attacks are going to do bleeding, I'm good with that. I want more bleeding. I use axes. I'm going to get a new axe just today. Vinny, I've played it. The trailers do it a disservice. For better or for worse. But, I mean, again, do I want to spend money on a game that I, I'm probably only going to play once or twice? Would you consider it if it ends up being really good? Um, I, I'm concerned about gameplay, first and foremost. Right? But the game also looks like hot garbage, visually. And that can be a problem. So, I don't know. I mean, if it's really good, maybe? Chat can't yeah. handle Pokemon. Oh, you know, they can't. They, but also, I think people don't like to accept the fact that Game Freak does not care or put effort into their games in the way that we would like. Because, you, you know, Pokemon means so much emotionally to a lot of us, myself included. I grew up with it. I loved it. I still do, in a way. And I collected the cards again because I'm a dumbass. But, yeah, I don't, I don't think, um... I don't think Game Freak just gives themselves enough time to make these games particularly amazing. And they could. They have enough money for it. I mean, they could spend time, maybe borrow some of Nintendo's people. or I don't know how that works, but... The uh, point is, what I'm trying to make is, Arceus does not look amazing. But the gameplay looks okay. I'm curious about it. I'm wondering if it's something... It's more Monster Hunter than I expected in some ways. And uh, maybe if it makes game good, I might consider it. But I wouldn't consider streaming the whole fucking thing. Just play it. See if I enjoy it. And then when I, you know, share my true thoughts about it, I'll have people send me very nasty messages about how I don't know what I'm talking about. So yeah, it sounds like a great time. Potentially, all of the Pokemon videos will be claimed. So, yeah. We're going to Falkreath. I at least give them credit for trying something different. Oops. Um, I give them credit for at least trying to push the thing forward somewhat, or give us something a little different. I mean, we just got a remake that I didn't play, and um, I'm hoping that, you know, this maybe, if this works and has got, like, some seeds of goodness, that they can uh, do more with this concept coming up. But again, open world games are tough to get right if you want to have a lot in them and keep the player engaged. So, I mean, there are leaks. I would recommend not leaking chat. Wear your diapers. But, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm playing this game. This game sometimes feels like garbage. But I'm so into the world of Skyrim and, like, just this kind of stuff that I almost don't mind. 
it's weird. I, I, I know I come across a little hypocritical about games sometimes because it just depends on the game. Like, I've, I've gotten a lot of fun out of The Witcher 3. I've got a lot of fun out of Breath of the Wild. I got a lot of fun out of this, and they each do different things with the open world concept. Hell, I even got a lot of fun out of Cyberpunk, even when it was shit. What are you hunting? Are you hunting a skeleton? There's a skeleton with a mace just gleefully walking down the road. Can't wait for you to get hooked on the new Sonic because it scratches the Breath of the Wild itch. Yeah, I mean, because Sega has a great track record with Sonic lately. I'm sure they'll be able to recapture the magic of Breath of the Wild. If anyone can do it, it's them. It's going to be Elden Ring, honestly. Elden Ring is going to be the game that takes up a good chunk of my, uh, my interest. So, I'm aware of Tifa at the Italian Senate. I know that she's a good politician. Oh, no. Meat knows too, because Meat had a lot of incog tabs open when that happened. Did you see a hound on the road? Fine, strong creature that's been wandering near town. There's one out on the road. I can't afford to chase him down, but I could use a fierce, loyal beast to keep me company. If you are willing to retrieve him for me, I'd give you some fresh meat to attract him out on the road. Good. There's some gold in it for you if you succeed. Here's the meat. I got the meat. Check the road just outside of town. Hello, dear. Did you know artists? Wait. I know you. I know you. Why do you know me? You're making There's a mistake. No mistake. You're a wanted man, and it's time to pay for your crimes. Wait, why am I wanted? I don't have time don't for this, do you? You're not worth the hassle. Go. Be some other guard's problem. Yeah, exactly. Was that for the brap? No, I paid for brap crimes. This horse just crushes carts. I'm sure if I bump into those enough, it'll the game will just fucking crash. Wouldn't be fucking surprised. Anyway, uh, I have to do this quest. I might have done this in the Switch version, but it is a good quest. And I think it'll be worth it... ...for the... ...axe. The potential axe that we're gonna get from it. Um... Wrong marker. Yeah, I realized that. I also have to do... ...FOV90. Volendrung Hammer, since it's the Orc Daedric Artifact. Yeah, I'm aware of the hammers being really good, but I'm also... I'm also, uh... using axes for this playthrough. Mainly. I'm aware of the Activision acquirement. I talked about it in a video that you haven't seen yet, but I don't really know what it means for the industry. If it means that Phil Spencer is going to whip Activision into, like, not sucking fucking diseased zombie scrotum, that's possibly a good thing. However, we're getting dangerously close to one company owning all companies. 
which we've already been there anyway, and it's that's a scary thing. Important deliveries to make. No time for chatting. Well, then why are you just standing there? So, I don't know. I mean, maybe good, maybe bad, but I, again, worry about mega, mega corporation. It's like Judge Dredd. Or some other thing. Oh, there's, there he is. And remember, Microsoft is, is, right now, they're in the position... Oh my god. You were looking for me? You see, my name is Bobbis, and I have a problem I think you can help sort out. <laughs> Love this dog. My master and I had a, a bit of a falling out. We got into an argument, and it got rather heated. He's kicking me out until I find someone who can settle our disagreement. That's where you come in. Thank you. Now, since he banished me, Bile's been rather weak. He can't manifest very far from one of his shrines. Meet, please. I know there's a cult that worships him at Hamar's Shane. We should be able to talk to him there. If this works out, I'll make sure you're rewarded. And just don't trust any offer he makes you, okay? Yeah. <laughs> We gotta go to the Shrine of Clavicus Vile, you know, so obviously... Just trust the talking dog. Is this a modded quest? No, this is a real quest. Vinny, I watched a video of this NPC getting eaten by a passing dragon mid-conversation. That's the Skyrim feeling. Uh, so yeah, Activision buying Microsoft. Just remember, Phil Spencer is pretty good dude, or so it seems. Um, obviously the bottom line is to, to, to be successful and make lots and lots and lots of money. That's how the whole corporate thing works. And that can be very, you know, when you get to Activision's level, it's just pump games out, pump. I don't give a shit, I need to come, so I come when I pump. And so they just keep pumping, and that's why you get one Call of Duty every year and other garbage games. EA doing Battlefield 2042, 20 garbage 42, where they just released a big update finally after like a month and a half, and it's just a terrible looking scoreboard. But anyway, the point I'm trying to make is I like Phil Spencer, and I like Game Pass, and I like that Microsoft is willing to play ball and not just do like, you know, console wars. And they let Banjo and Smash, and they, you know, Nintendo has some games that Microsoft publishes. I think that's good for the industry, and they're still going to publish stuff for Sony. However, if Microsoft becomes, like, number one again, and they're not eating the humble pie that they are, and they go into dick mode, and they own everything, that's, you know, that's my worry. Because because dick mode happens. Uh, Nintendo's in dick mode currently right now, and Sony's kind of there right now too. And uh, even though they do some good stuff and have good games, it's not hard to have various competing like people at the heads of these companies that are just trying to like make every last penny out of the consumer. Which is where you get statements like, No, we use research NFT gaming. Is future of meta gaming. <laughs> Fuck off, bear. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's my opinion on, on any of that kind of stuff, uh, when it comes to the business of it. And I hope that, I hope that it's a good thing, and I hope maybe, you know, Blizzard needs a lot of help.
because they're in fucking trash territory. And I, I would love to one day be able to play a new good Blizzard game. That would be cool. Like, in the future, I'm talking. Like, with new employees and, like, a whole new business structure. We'll see. I'm not interfering. I'm following my dog. I'm taking my dog out for a walk. How far is this fucking place? Someone said, I wonder how Diablo 4 is going to be now. Implying Diablo 4 is even being worked on at the moment. No, they're, they're doing their Diablo Immortal game, mainly. They're going to get that out the door, and they're going to monetize the fuck out of it. And then, maybe if um, Microsoft shakes up the company a little bit, they'll resume Diablo 4. Then Diablo 4 is being worked on, though. I know, I'm just saying stupid words. I, I'm... I think Immortal is going to get priority, and I think 4's development probably stopped when Blizzard decided to huff the trash fumes. Does this dog even know where it's going? So, uh, anyway, let's- let's get onto hap happier topics. Like, LEGO Star Wars actually looks really good. They released a trailer today, and I am on board. We got a release date. We got some gameplay, we got mumble mode confirmed. I like that meat doesn't attack, but is trying very much. To attack. I like the funny ragdoll, do you? I like the, the funny ragdoll. Actually, you want to see something kind of fun? I'll show you something fun. Do not attack the talking dog, please. Watch this. Nice. How do I, um... Hmm. Is there a way to put these things in groups? It's like that Harrison Ford movie where some guy played a dog. Oh yeah, the CG dog. Call of the Wild, I remember that. Speaking of Harrison Ford, you, you guys want to type Vine Movie real quick? It was a movie. Jackal made that. Fuck's sake. C cool attack animation. You know what? Actually, the uh, Daedric axes look amazing in this game. 
but you don't start getting them until level 30. Bound Battle Axe. There's a really cool Ethereal Axe that doesn't need to be recharged, that steals health, but it's the College of Winterhold. You have to do a whole big fucking quest line. How are you tonight, Vinny? I'm frustrated because my computer crashed before while just idling. I, I left it. Like, it's the same blue screen of death that doesn't do event logging. And I'm trying, like, one thing at a time still. And I don't know if it's the RAM. I don't know if it's the, uh, the drive. I talked about this a hundred times. I'm still suffering from this issue. Um, I, if it's the motherboard, that's the last thing that I want to replace. Because that's going to be a huge fucking pain in the ass. So I'm trying to isolate that issue. But again, I've talked about this already. And people have help, helped me in regards to giving me potential solutions um that i had to go to a fucking dermatologist because uh, i'm okay now but i had um i had something my skin was all sore and dried out on my face like my eyes and i got like this fucking insane steroid cream that actually burned no it's i, I don't know what it dermatitis it's also winter-related. Anyway, um, they fixed my computer, which is great. I never expected the dermatologist to fix my blue screen problem, but they did. But no, this, this wasn't a recurring thing, but it got pretty bad, and I don't know why I'm telling you this, but I'm okay now. I feel... I feel pretty alright compared to... Uh... I mean, I... I it was, my eyes were really, really red. But now I'm good. Or at least I see- they felt like they were. My hearing is better. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. We did some, uh, you know, studio stuff where we were, you know, playing some music. And, uh, I'm wearing earplugs now. Which is a challenge to hear myself sing. Uh, but it's it's better. This is for the best. So yeah, that's that's the update on my various health. Now my computer health is the main problem. That's why I chose a battle axe, I think. I think that's why I went for axe instead of hammer. Have you considered musicians earplugs? I got some a couple years ago that I didn't really like all that much. I'm gonna try them again. But there's they can make custom ones that I, I have to... Uh, I'd have to get, like, molded to my ear or something. Uh, I'm gonna look into earplugs again at some point soon. Here, I'm gonna fill up this axe. There's Imperials in here, too. Oh, boy. You know, I got all those nice magical spells last time, and I didn't even really use some of the ones I wanted to use. Like, we got Ice Spike, Mara's Wrath, Firebolt, Unbound... Unbounded Flames. Wow, that was... that used all of my magic. 
something's fucky with the music, you might want to just refresh Twitch. Third time I passed that up. Okay. Uh. Okay. Um. I watched. I I talked about Booba Fett show. That show is, at this point, whatever. It's just it exists. Um. I was surprised though. I'm three episodes into the Peacemaker show. It's surprisingly good. Like I watched the Suicide Squad movie because James Gunn himself invited me to the screening. And, um... No, he didn't. Not himself. But, like, I, for some reason, got invited to the screening. I don't really know why. Uh, and I liked it more than I expected. It's, like, the first DC superhero movie I've seen. And, um, I decided, well, let me check out the show, because people were saying it's pretty good. And it's... It's actually pretty decent. I mean, some of the humor... ...goes into, like... Ugh, ...territory, but it's mostly... For me, it's weirdly mostly pretty enjoyable. And um, even though John Cena made a fucky wucky recently, I'm gonna say he's a better actor than I ever expected. Fucking vampire thralls. Um, I think he said something about China. I think, like, I don't know what it was entirely. It's hard to keep up with every wrong thing every human being on this planet has done. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't really, what, I don't know. But, uh, you know, I'll be sure... You know what? Let me write that in my notebook of... Here, let me, who gives a fuck? And, uh... Yeah, so... I, but he's actually really... Really funny in a weird way. And I do think that, um... These pro wrestler people... You know, like, you have Batista, who's good. As, like, a dramatic actor. And funny. And Cena can do funny... And, like, physical action. And, um... Then you have Rowdy Roddy Piper, who we all agree was the best wrestler actor of all time. Um, right next to Hulk Hogan. He said Pluto was a planet and pissed off the president of the solar system. Well... That... That's a, that's a good way to... That's a good way to describe that, actually. That's pretty amazing. Is Pluto a planet again? Did they deep... Is it still deplanetized? I like how we don't have a good answer in chat. Um, I'm seeing yeses and noes, mostly noes. fake Serana. It's officially a dwarf planet. Okay. D I mean, is that how it wants to be? I mean, maybe it, it just, maybe it just wants to be a planet. Why don't we listen to its music and determine? There was some kind of fucking thing where you could point a thing at a solar body at a planet or like asteroids, and you would actually hear music. I'm serious, I don't- maybe this sounds like some kind of fever dream, or like, Vinny's dipping into the snusk again. But, um... Yeah, like in Outer Wilds. But no, really, it's a real thing. There's like, the sounds of Saturn. Maybe it's... Maybe it's a bunch of... Bullshit, I don't know.
chat is discussing this. I'm gonna have to use Berserker's Rage, I think. I was gonna try to do a summon, but I forgot I had Berserker's Rage. Nice. That made that pretty easy. Okay, I want to read this and make sure... I get the thing. Retrieve Rueful Axe. The ting goes. Lord Vile, I have a request for you. Of you. It. It's the least I could do since you already helped me grant one final wish for my last worshippers. They were suffering so from vampirism and begged me for a cure. Then you came and begged me for a cure. Me. I couldn't have planned it better myself. So, what's your heart's desire? What kind of deal can we strike? Uh... The power to crush all really? before me. Power? You are a dragonborn. You already have more power than most people who aren't immense fire-breathing monsters. As much as I hate to say it, you're almost as powerful as I am right now. But that's just because <laughs> all of my power resides in that muck barbis. Split power with dog. It, I know of a win-win situation for both of us. I ain't happy. I'm feeling bad. I got sunshine. Yes, an axe. In a dog. An incredibly powerful axe. An axe powerful enough for me to have quite a bit of fun indeed. If you bring it to me, I'll grant you my boon. No strings attached, no messy surprises. At least not for you. As I recall, it's resting in Rhyme Rock Burrow. Barbers can lead you right to it. Little Mutt might even add his place back at my side. Uh, travel with Barbas, uh, retrieve Rueful Axe with Barbas. What does plus two and minus two mean? It's just Jerma's social credit score, that's it, that's all it is. Oh, I missed a treasure chest in there. Did I just get shit out the side of a mountain, and now I can't get back in? Oh wait, no, it's right up here. I, uh... You know, I'm... After today... I feel like Twitter really wants me to hate the hexagon. Just as a shape. No, it's good. You... M trust me. Hexagonal profile picture. Picture. Vinny, I thought you left Twitter. I, I well, I had to be on for the Red Vox stuff, at least a little bit. Um, when I say I'm not browsing for hours a day, you know what I mean. Like it's for the best. But I can't help but be aware of these things, especially when I hear about like hexagonal pictures <laughs> for NFTs. It's just fucking hilarious to me. There's been word of some trouble nearby. I'm on my way to But no, Twitter, you know, again, internet bad is just such an easy topic Whoa. and it's it's like really easy to default to internet bad and uh, Twitter bad and all that. But it really kind of is brain rot. Again, easy to say so. 
doesn't mean it's not true. It just depends on, I mean, any social media you spend too much time on. A little bit, I think, just a little bit, and filtering through topics that you like can be a benefit, especially if you keep up with your friends. Let's, you know, let's be fair. But then, when you get to, like, you just press the button on your phone or your computer, where you don't even, like, you didn't even consciously press the button. You just go there because you had a free moment in between, like, a TV show moment that you weren't interested in. And then you click the dopamine button. That's, I think, where it gets worrying. I've missed scenes of shows that I like because I decided to be on my phone looking at nothing more interesting than what I was watching. Truthfully. But... But yeah, now they're doing NFT profile pictures. That's why the hexagon shape. I mean, this is a crazy fucking week for weird, like, news. You get Microsoft buying Activision. You got, um... Twitter just being Twitter. I guess there was some other stuff that happened. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Tifa in the Italian, what, Senate? <laughs> I got two examples of news. You got me looking at terrible pizza. There is a, um... I'm sorry I keep- oh, I keep bringing up NFTs. I find them fucking hilarious. Whoa. But, um, there was a, a video of Steve Aoki, if that's his name. I think he's a DJ, right? And he was- he stopped the show while he was DJing in order to show people his new NFT. He was like- He was like, bro, you gotta check out- I love this beautiful- I'm sorry, I gotta stop the show because I'm just so excited. You gotta see how beautiful my little alien creature is. And it's just, the lack of self-awareness about these fucking things, I, it, I just find very funny to me. And, and also sad. What, um, why destroy when we can create together? Who, who was... Who was that? That was Troy Baker, I think. And, like, it's not even about the environment, it's just fucking lame. It's like, yeah, I want to prove that I own something that isn't even real. Here's the receipt, but not the thing. You can hate or you can create. I'm just gonna say that as a default answer to any criticism against me. You know? That new Redbox album kind of sucks, bro. You can hate, or you can create. Also, happy birthday, David Lynch. Fucking morons! All of them! I am definitely deficient in magic resistance. There is no way around that. Can we get a heavy load emote? I wouldn't mind a uh, David Lynch emote of some kind. I don't know. How are we gonna do this? I'm gonna try to Fusro Da. Have you seen that Majora is the next game on the, uh, NSO thing? Yeah.
I'm still not getting the service. Daughter. Sebastian over the edge. He couldn't stand to see his little girl take on such a bestial form. The wizard wished for the ability to end his daughter's curse. <laughs> Clavicus gave him an axe. You all right, lad? Should I be able to loot this person? I feel like I should. Oh, that body is just straight up glitched. Well, everybody, I am happy to report that I have the axe. It does 20 points of stamina damage. So you know what? It's a little bit more powerful. It weighs less. It doesn't absorb health. It's pretty good. Maybe not my replacement, but it looks really cool. I like the way this thing looks a lot. Problem is... It's not absorbing health, which I like about my other axe. So I'm, I'm probably going to keep the other one... Kind of nearby. Um... There are better axes, but I can't really get them now, unless I go through massive quest lines. Speaking of quest lines, I will not be finishing this quest line. We're done. Barbus is now a new pet. So I have the axe, and... I have the pet. You could enchant other stuff. I guess I could. Why do I have an iron war axe on me? Did I miss it, treasure chest? I wonder if this dude had something on him. Yeah, somehow I missed this tre- I, Why am I missing treasure chests today? Staff of Mage Light. Eh. Frost resistance be good to just have a variety of resistance available. How do you feel about an orc warhammer? I'm specced for axes. Try shouting at the body. Yeah. It's fucking glitched. You have been arrested for fecal crimes. We here in Skyrim don't take kindly to your... Well, kind. Wait a minute. I'm gonna go back in there. I have an idea. Barbus only takes damage from this axe, so if I whiff, I could kill him. Oh, that's... That's not good. Oh, look, I can loot the guy now. There's nothing... He's got absolutely fucking nothing of value. However... Remember that I have Staff of Worms.
Hello, Vorks Sebastian Lort. What a name. Lord, Mr. Alien. Does Vinny know about the Tifa incident? I feel like if I wanted some sick views uh, on my videos, I could have just, like, talked about that and reacted to it for five minutes. I mean, I... You know, I know the worth of those things. That's why I reacted to pizza. But I had a lot of fun reacting to the pizza. The truth is, though, I hated, I hated every minute of those pizzas. Even if it was fun. I think people have requested that I do a pizza uh, review part two at some point. And uh, you know what? People have sent me more cursed pizzas to the contact form. I'm open to it. I just have to find the right kind of pizzas, because we can't be doing Brazilian pizzas anymore. We, we've seen too many of those. It's all segmented. There's tires in the middle. There's, like, uh, gas canisters, uh, bananas, whatever. I, you know what I mean? Like, we need more variety or stuff that's even more, potentially more realistic. Do shitty New York pizza. Uh, well, I mean... That implies that there is shitty New York pizza. And make no mistake, there there is. I just don't have the uh, the photographic evidence of it. What about reviewing good pizza? Well, then I just have to, like... Then it gets to me becoming review bra. You know? Then I'm just eating pizza and going, Food? Review? And that's kind of not... I don't know, that's kind of not what I want to do. Yeah, or I can be, like, the pizza review guy who doesn't actually give any scores over a 9 unless it, like... I don't know, unless it, like, tickles his, uh... You know. But even so, I don't really know if, if uh, if I want to be eating the pizzas. I eat good pizza without having to review them. But I can look at shitty pizza. That's fun. That's easy. Oh, there is something I wanted to do while I'm here. I have a bunch of... All this ingot. I want to try to make some stuff. Again, leveling up. Just anything. Is Detroit-style pizza real pizza, Vinny? I don't know what Detroit-style pizza is. Is it just, like, slop on dough? Because if so, I'm gonna say no. Is it something you would get in the, the slums of Midgar? You know, there's- there- that's my... Basically... If the pizza could be in Final Fantasy VII, then I don't want to have anything to do with it, usually. Under the rotting pizza.
they revealed the name of the Lord of the Rings show. And we pretty much only have a name and the footage of, like, them forging the title. And, uh, it's called Rings of Power. And I'm just wondering how many, like, how many people got a bonus and a raise for that one? Sounds like butt rock. It turns out, yeah, the, the show is gonna have... The show's gonna have a metal soundtrack. I think Lord of the Rings, the second age, has a better ring to it. Heh, <laughs> ring. I think, I, really, I mean, it's more descriptive. You already got rings in the Lord of. So you can just say the second age, and that pretty much covers it. I think. Rings of Power is the name of a section in the Silmarillion. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, it's not a terrible title. I don't I don't think it's particularly offensive or anything like as a Lord of the Rings fan. It's just uh I don't know. Yeah. New happy little uh title. Oh, I can't make that up yet. It's TV 14, so it's not going to go all sex and titties. That's good. I really do think... As long as you keep it kind of close to the source material... And the tone of the books, or even the Peter Jackson movies... It'll be, you know, it'll be cool. If they can do so. We'll see. I mean, it's Amazon. But they do a good job with the boys TV show. So I don't I don't think it's like impossible. Well, yeah, I mean, you can't really make a story uh, like from the Silmarillion. You can't like adapt it from start to finish. You you kind of have to embellish or tell your own stories after a certain point. And uh I think that could be done. Let's get a let's get a bow. Stony Creek Cave and recover Ruin's Edge from the final boss of the dungeon. Stony Creek Cave. Small cave located in the southeastern corner of East March. Where is East Mar um in the south Eastern corner of East March. Is that Riften? It's Windhelm. It says here small cave located in the southeastern corner of East March. It's marked by a small pond in a snowy area just north of Anselvund. Huh? It could just show a picture of it on the map. North of Champion's Rest, the place where you got this got a sword. North of Champion's Rest. Okay. Thank you. Um, quick thing. If anyone here has any experience editing any of my material, we might be looking for an additional editor. People have lives, you know, and I'm not really... Whoa. And uh, I'm not exactly, you know, paying the bills. It's just like a hundred bucks per video or so, you know? And uh, 
if you're interested in throwing together some smaller highlights, like back in the old days, like five minutes or so, that doesn't mean that you have to edit, um, let's say, 20 hours of gameplay, where you could just like focus in on couple on a couple moments, or like compilations. Yeah, this is for the main channel. Like compilations of like, you know, times that a, a, a gag comes up, or like me gagging, or, or um, I don't know, spins or like glitches. Like you know, here's top ten glitch compilation stuff like that. Um, you know, for once a month. If anyone has experience, if you want to get in touch on the contact form, we might be adding one or two new editors just to kind of fill out the channel a little bit. My editors have kept the channel alive because I don't really want to edit all my own stuff. It's already like a huge amount of work just to like, you know, sift through the footage. Um, and I have to say that a lot of the people that have contributed edits to the main channel have done a really great job, and I appreciate them. And they've had to comb through, like, some people have done playthroughs that were like 20 hours or more. So, I figured it would be a good idea to kind of, like, why not just do a little bit less? And, uh, I figured if anyone has any experience editing my stuff, or wants to try it out and you're a decent editor, nothing major. It's something. Oh, sorry, you're not going to. I, I'm just so used to people attacking immediately. Do you have an editing test? Yeah, if you can edit the porn out of the conference um, in the Italian Senate, then you're you're good. Or, if you can get, like, instead of Tifa, if you can get Barrett in there... Yeah, uh, if meme horns are good. Lots of meme horns, all the time. I need at least... the quota is... Five or six fart with reverb per... But again, we're probably only going to add like one or two people, so if you do apply... And again, it's not a job. There's no, like, schedule, really. I mean, we just... We'd like to have at least a couple videos a month on the channel. And, uh... You know, I'm, it's not gonna, like, pay your bills. It's, like, enough to buy you a video game and a half, maybe. Which... You know... For a couple minutes of editing... But again, the editors that I have have gone above and beyond, and have done like, 10 to 20 minute or more edits. Like, did you see the Revind? That's... That's a lot of work. That and other kinds of edits too, where like, people take an entire game and sum it up in one playthrough. That shit takes hours and hours and hours, and a lot of it is just passion project shit. So... Essentially, it can be fun, but we're also just trying to scale things down a little bit. How do we apply? Um, look up the Vine Sauce contact form and just send a, like a business email and include some of your, your stuff. And uh, Titania and I will probably take a look. And if anything, you know, I, I mean, there will be many people that don't get replies or will just straight up you know, we'll, we'll say thank you, but no thank you. Even if you're really damn good at what you do. And it's also, you know, if, if you're, um... If you're gonna add clown horns and hit markers to the video, joking aside, eh, we're not really looking for that. There we go. I gotta be careful not to kill my dog. 
Can't believe I just said that out loud, but it's true. Why is this cave bad smell air? Vinny, are you gonna try it the Castlevania fan game? When it's done, I will, yeah. Or when it's available. There's an amazing looking Castlevania fan game on the horizon. Oh, that's a lot of... That's a lot of health you got there, friend. I think that's the bow. This is a new bow. This is part of the creation club. Whoa. <laughs> Jesus. Ruins Edge. Randomly applies one of the following effects to the target. Frost, demoralize, frenzy, drain magicka, or paralyze. Not bad for like three minutes of caving. Castlevania Seal of the Eclipse is the name of it. Vinny, Majora's Mask is coming to the Switch online next month. Are you going to play it see how much I, they screw up that port? I, I, I'm not going to spend the $50 on a service I think is terrible. I don't have it, and I don't want it. I don't want it. I never have. My queen. If it was an extra $20, I would consider it. If it was an, you know... Yeah, 20, 20 bucks, maybe, but the emulation's fucking broken. I mean, they just patched Ocarina of Time to fix the water so it doesn't have a stone texture, and it has a water texture in the water dungeon. So there's that. And there's Paper Mario stuff, where the game crashes and the frame rates are... Did you see the dog? Are, are you okay? I think Barbus became taxidermy. Oh, you can still move. Here I was complaining about the Nintendo Switch Online not having good emulation of N64 games. This game is a full-ass game that still doesn't work properly. <laughs> That's been out for 10 years. You want me to... No, I can't do that. And truthfully, that's part of the reason why I play it. No, that dog is broke. Nah, dog. Anyway, um, I, I just, I'm happy that Majora's Mask is coming to a service so people can check it out. But I don't, I don't think I'm that interested. I could always play it. The axe isn't the only item dear old Glaucus has. Give him the rueful axe, and once we're reunited, the mask of Clavicus Vile will be yours. Banjo-Kazooie runs well. That's cool. I'm, I'm glad that Banjo-Kazooie runs well. Uh, I'm a little spoiled by the Xbox version of Banjo-Kazooie by now. And even though I do like having some games portable, I just can't, you know, I can't justify the price of that service. 
I think that's that's ludicrous. Since you'd use the Animal Crossing DLC, it's not that bad, in my opinion. Yeah, I guess I, I see what you mean. But I, I really, I don't, I don't think I'm, you know, I'm not sure I'm going to be playing the Animal Crossing DLC anytime soon. For one. But I also, uh, would have no problem just paying for it the one time. Point I'm trying to make is, um, add GameCube games to the service, or Game Boy Advance games as well, and then I'm in, maybe. Or both. Yeah, add both, please. Thank you. And fix the emulation issues as much as you can. But here's the other thing, too. Nintendo 64 is notoriously difficult. Like, Project 64 has been going for years and years and years. And a lot of those games have, from my understanding, and I'm kind of an idiot, so I don't really know what I'm talking about fully, but they have very specific code to apply to each game. So when you use, like, emulation on a lot of N64 games, they had to account for... A lot of the wacky decisions. Body Harvest is a perfect example, but there's way more than that. Like, um, Rogue Squadron is still really fucking hard to emulate, from what I understand. Bone arrows do a lot of damage. Vin, do you ever plan on playing Prime 3 with a mouse and keyboard? Um, I just keep waiting for that Metroid Prime collection that gets rumored once a year. Dog is still broken. You know what? I, w I wouldn't have it any other way. Did you see the giant fall? Got one of them random status effects on it. Oh, this is gonna be a nice glitchy battle, I think. Sorry, giant. Not really a whole lot you can do to that dog. Oh, we got bears now, too. Two of them! How do you suplex again? You just have to take... You can't suplex a giant, right? Where'd my fucking Fus Rada go? <laughs> Cannot change status effects while shouting? I'm sorry, what?
Barbas is fixed. Which is kind of disappointing. Dragon. Th there's a dragon. We got a giant, a bear, and a dragon, and a meat. All on screen at the same time. I like the eye on this bow. It looks around and blinks. It is very Soul Calibur. Be not afraid, child! It is I! I have a- Listen, I have a compressor and a limiter on my voice. It was still loud. Alright, what's this dragon doing? It would be pretty cool if we get the dragon and the giant to fight. And instead, it's just gonna be a bunch of goats. Bear. Were you, were you standing on your hind legs, Bear? That's weird. I don't know where the giant went, but oh great, I'm being accosted by a bear. Fuck out of here, Bear! It was worth it to do the quest for the Fusrada. That dragon just made a strafing run on my dog. It's not really my dog, it's just Barbus. I'm trying to use the arrow so I can level up the archery, so I can get other levels faster, and also because this is a cool bow. If you don't finish the quest, he is your dog. You steal men's dogs! Giant versus dragon. I'm saving. Can you Fusrada a dragon? No. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but the orcs Fusroda is fucking hilarious. Is that... Is that a cat? Oh shit, a mammoth has arrived! And so has meat! Why is it attacking meat? Giant, attack the dragon! Alright, fine, if this is what I gotta do. You can make a companion pick up the giant club in his camp. Well, that mammoth resisted. Oh, Jesus. Oh, boy. Are they... 
beating their meat? Sorry, wait, are they beating my meat? They're just going for me. Where are all my other people? Wow, meat is getting like, like real beat. No meat. No, don't. No, no, no meat. Don't come here. No, no. The m mammoth fear? Like, I think the bow randomly applies a fear status effect. There we go. The Khajiit is dead, but its tail is still moving. Someone said I can give this club to one of my, uh... ...companions. How, how do you- how do you do that? That seems... Like, that seems like bullshit. Oh god. Not that one. Hold E on them, then point them and hit E again. Now, is it this one, or...? This seems like just decoration. Vinny, look around. Talk to companion, ask them to do something, then point to the hammer. Only some work. And what do they do with it? Do they use it? Do they pick it up and use it? Oh, that one. Yes, he has it now. We done. You have a grim look. Lead us to our um, he's not gonna. My he's not using it, as far as I can tell. 
take away his other weapons. He's got a fucking... Um... Uh... Uh... uh Dawn Blade? Fine. Let's trade then. Breaker. He's got a lot of random shit. He's not even using the Dawnbreaker. He's using a, a dark sword. Oh man. Um It doesn't seem like he has it in his inventory. Remove all other weapons, including the bow. He doesn't even have a bow. Oh. <laughs> Lead us to our next task. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, Meat, can you carry some stuff for me? Oh, that's so good. Dawnbreaker, Dawnbreaker. Where is Donghard? He's just not here at the moment. That is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, floating butch! Okay, does anyone know how to do quadrants in with your fav- not with your pizza, with your favorites? It's like if I favorite fireball- uh, firebolt. Oh, I just press F for group. Okay. So, Firebolt. Group 1. That's easy. You can just sort by weapons and spells. I don't even need to do that anymore. That's, that's fine. Cool. That, that's a lot better. Did, did I just hear a Nord? Guess it's all clear now. Wait, you're not. Fire to something? You're not the Nord that I heard. Who was the Nord? He was like, I'm getting out of here! And then he disappeared. If he ever was. Maybe he always wasn't. Can you suplex a skeleton? Where are my osteoporo bros at? Investigate the area north of Mistwatch. Kill a Vethra. Oh shit. Oh, 
Okay, so I just unequipped everything. But how do I unequip magic? Oh, wait. Um... Sake. You have to be in stealth to suplex. I I'm not. Uh, I'm not going with a stealth build. So I guess never mind that. In order to suplex, you have to be in stealth and using a bow. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. Nordic Sword of Fear. Nordic Glass Sword of Fear. Iron Sword of Souls. I don't know what kind of quest this even is. Like, I, I at this point, I don't even really know what I'm doing. If you got the gloves of the pugilists in Riften, you can disenchant them and increase your melee damage, with which increases the probability of a suplex. Uh, yeah. There's an old woman in Riften orphanage that you can almost always suplex in one hit. <laughs> You can now create new equipment with ebony smithing and glass smithing. Yeah, I think I remember suplexing the old lady. Meat. They know. Gotta find the orphanage. Wrong town. Oh, right, Grelid. Yeah. They're all laughing. Somebody How are they hurting each other? Oh. Act that was an accident. Talk of a 
none of you root rappers getting adopted ever. Nobody needs you. Nobody wants you. Am I carrying too much? I'm not. Oh. This is why you're here. Why you will always be here until the day you come of age and get thrown into that wide, horrible world. Note that you don't get a bounty for killing Grelid. And one more thing. Adoptions. None of you riffraff is getting adopted ever. Nobody needs you. Nobody. She, she kept that going for a little while. And one more thing. None of you And one more thing. I will hear no more talk of adoption. None of you ever. Nobody needs you. Nobody wants you. That, my darlings, is why you're here. Why you will always be here. <laughs> it's grow. Somebody has killed Grelid. It's an orc with shit eyes. Nobody needs you. Nobody Mercy. It's Grelid. Enough. Someone has killed Grelid. Grelid is dead. Out. Hey. Hooray! Grelid the Kyle dead at last. I can't believe it. Grelid is Yay! just really did it. He got Dark Brotherhood to kill old. I can't. <laughs> I'm not the Dark Brotherhood. Hooray! <laughs> we love you, Dark Brotherhood. <laughs> when Aventus escaped, Grilla got meaner than. <laughs> you sure I'm not traumatizing these kids? I can't believe it. Grillet is dead? She's really dead. Mercy. Hmm. You can't. You can't. Grelid is perma dead. Let me just put her here. Mercy. No more. I I I cannot best you. I'm gonna come back here. And that head better still be Dongard. Dongard is here and just said, What happened? This better be careful with. Vinny, reload and kill her without removing the head. Victory is yours. I submit. Yeah, I guess, but reloading, uh, but but removing the head was just so much fun. Jan. All right, fine. 
Nobody needs you. Nope. What? That, my darlings, is why you're here. Why you'll always be here. I feel like Mike Stoklaza would like this stream. Are we sure Grelit is dead? She has like one HP. <laughs> she can't live in this world without a single tiny thing killing her. Finny, you should start collecting corpses in your home. <laughs> Well, Grelid will make a fine addition to the collection. She's still with us. Yep, she's still here. It's pleasing to see you. Hey, I brought a new person, Burger. Where? Conquer your enemies, my love. Fortune smiles on. Here's 400 gold. She just gave me 400 gold. I bring her an old zombie granny. She's dead again. Oh, the rat! Look, is the scritch has moved in more. It's uh, someone in chat said you're psychotic, and I thought they said you're psychedelic. I was about to say that's cool. He's still got a massive club. He's like cloud. Where's your bone man? Uh, I think the bone man died. Bone man says there are more bo bone men. What the fuck is going on here? Bad rat. Ba what were you doing to Grelid's body? Bad rat. Do I like leave a Dawnbreaker? Yeah, I'll bring it. 
Uh, all right, meat. Meat has all the other stuff. Wait, what items do I have that are weighing me down so much? Dragon bones. really using Umbra. It's cool and everything, but I'm just not using it. Let's see if we can disenchant a couple things. Chat, who would um, make a good ad addition to the corpse pile? Nazim? Or Cicero? Where's Nazim? Isn't that, um, Dark Brotherhood? Whiterun? Cloud District? Cloud District guy? Oh, I'm thinking of the wrong guy. Wait, why do we want Nazim to be... Like, a corpse in my fireplace? Why do we not like Nazim? I don't remember. Go find out. <laughs> Go find out. Alright. First, let me sell my wife all this crap that I found. Ride wife, life good. Sell to wife, life very good. Speak. You can ask anything of me, love. Conquer your enemies, my love. Is she technically home? Because I can't sell her stuff right now. Yeah. Adele Dazim. She's just busy. Conquer your enemies, my love. Are you planning on doing that vampire quest to get rid of Donghard? Oh, I tried. Make no mistake, I tried. It's still fucking impossible. And the area is locked, so I have to, like, no clip in. There's a guard watching me sleep. For nine hours. Nice shift, oh, dude. The oh, they're reforming the dunk hard. On guard. Vampire hunters or something. The old fort near Riften. Might consider. What did you say about Don Guard? What now? Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Everything. Some may call someone them just knocked into me. I call them treasures. Speech increased. I mean, you can see how like dumbed down the RPG elements are. All you're doing is selling stuff. I guess it counts as bartering, just cleaning them out of their entire fucking inventory of gold, but... Alright, where's Nazim? Let's see. Where's Adele Dazim? 
you know what's wrong with Skyrim these days? Everyone is obsessed with death. It's another pretty classic line. I spend a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Oh, it took years. But I earned my way to the top. I own Chilfero Farm, you see. Very successful business, obviously. What now? I... <laughs> Make it quick. What does he do? There is no Chilfero Farm, by the way. Oh, so he lies. <clears throat> the problem is, killing him is going to prove tough in White Run. He bitches about how people are poorer than him. Really? That's his... That's his shtick? A sneaky archer could get him, yeah. Did you get the spell to go invisible from that cave? You know what? I might have got that spell to go invisible from that very cave. Is this... Will this do? It's only 15 seconds. If you're the Thane, you can get away with it. He sleeps in one of the inns, by the way. Oh, oops. <laughs> I don't think this is working out. about to attack attack the guard oh we got a Ryzen you know what I've been noticing lately that my uh, upload speeds have been getting pulped and I don't know why uh, was it a mini Ryzen or was it a, like a big Ryzen Thank <laughs> you. 
It's like a medium Ryzen. Did you see he had an arrow in his head for a second? You know, oh god, that didn't kill him, but I, I pretty much got away with that. It's getting real bad. Oh no. Alright, hang on a minute. Sorry everybody. I'm going to do a speed test real quick. Uh, no, my speed test is okay. Let me see. No, it dropped frames 4080. Hmm. I'm hoping no this isn't Twitch I think this is me. This is this is Verizon. Four thousand five hundred and sixty frames dropped. The speed test says my speeds are fine. But then this the uh frame dropping is not great. The Verizon 4080 It's the best video card of all time. Uh, my up speeds are... It's weird. I keep running the tests. But yeah, I'm, I'm dropping... I'm at 55.20. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't... I, I have a new drive. I haven't put it in yet, but... This could be your hard drive. Not writing fast enough. I, I mean, does that drop frames? It's an MVME drive, you know? Check task manager. Uh, everything seems to be alright here. I, it's, my computer has other problems that aren't related to... ...this at the moment. I feel like this is... NVMe doesn't make a difference for games. Yeah, this seems like a connection issue. Let me just... Let me just do a quick restart. Fucking Nazim. Um, okay. I think it shows another server. And I see zero drop frames so far, but that could change. Well, that was easy. <laughs> oh, that was so good. Need something. I don't know what happened. Okay, hang on a minute. <laughs> hang on a minute. This is what I think happened. Okay. I shot Nazim. He pulled his weapon out thinking it was the guard. Or the guard saw him running at him with a weapon drawn, and all the guards are sick of Nazim's shit. 
literally killed him and then walked away, and Dong Hard even got a, a hit in. Vinny, your bow caused frenzy. Oh, right. That's right. I got Chill Furrow Farmhouse Key, even though it doesn't exist. Does Winter Sand Manor exist? Does this dude just lie about homes? Oh, wrong staff. You better be careful with that magic if you know what's good for you. You You'd better be careful with that magic. You, you see nothing. Amazing. What an amazing game this is. I mean, it took me a couple reloads, but that was the perfect way. Just stealthily... Just fucking stealthily cause frenzy by accident. Vork's Nazim. Adele Nazim. Free again. That's pretty cryptic. Where did, uh... What's her name's corpse go? Huh. Gerard? Gre Grenold? <laughs> Someone just wrote Grenold. Grelid. Grelid. Huh. Yeah, um, Granny Cream's corpse is gone. Scritch. Please. I know you're excited. It's a. Fr did Scritch. Did Scritch eat Grelid? Might have had a despawn script on it because it was a quest target. I mean, I guess we'll see what happens to Nazim. Oh, man. I kind of want to get it just right. Let's see if I can just, just get a little bit more... Like, up. I think that's okay. Anyone else? I feel like we're making our own Dark Brotherhood quests. Um, who, who else? Cicero? Is there a reliable place to find Cicero? Heimskir? Who's Heimskir? <laughs> the priest in Whiterun? Oh yeah, fuck that guy. There's a nip in the air. Cold won't be good for my crops. Never is. Cold won't be good for my crotch. Watch this before you do anything. I, you've been posting that link a lot, so... Let's see. Hey, you there. Yes, yes, I haven't touched myself in days. Can't a man have a bit of butt piracy? Oh, no, it... That was not worth it. Be on the 
unassailable. To you, we give praise. Oh my god, here's this guy. All right, all right. Okay, um, do I have something that can cause frenzy without having to use the bow? No, I think I do. Poison? Does he have double audio? <laughs> Even more annoying than usual. Ass man? Heimskir is an ass man, confirmed. I've got weak frenzy poison. Dog, please. You could pickpocket the poison into his inventory, too. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I have a high enough level for that. Oops. Yeah, my, my stealth is not particularly great right now. That's the wrong button. That was easy. What the fuck? You have come. What the fuck? Back to work. you were once man. I and as man you said, let me show you the Okay, now he's dead. Cool expensive rings and stuff you got there. Did you try to get a giant's corpse in your house? That's a lot. That's gonna be a lot different. The guards don't, like, care. They're probably just happy to get some... They're just happy to get some peace. Even his zombie noise is annoying, says a chat member. Undead preaching would have been so fucking funny. Just want to preach a little bit. Ah, uh, Nazim's corpse is gone. I just noticed that. At last. 
Someone said there's a way to go into the corpse room. Well, I wish we could have Nazim, Grullid, and Heimskir all at the same time. So it's, uh, the, the code is cock, W-I, dead, body, clean up, cell. Good afternoon. Yes? Why is there a naked elf man standing here? Thanks, Doc. Kinda don't want Grelid in like a bikini back at my house. H how do I leave this hell? Good afternoon. The fuck? I wonder if this fixed any of my followers or anything. Nazim's farm is on your map. It's the windmill icon right of White Run. Grelit's back. But Heimskir is gone. Damn. I don't know how she got her clothing back on, though. It's weird. Yeah, it seems like you can only have two corpses at any one given moment. You know what? I'm more upset that I, like... ...made a mess of my home just then. Yes. Bard might not be getting cleaned up due to being from a mod. Pleasing to see you again. <laughs> yeah, black bars. 
Nice. Nice. Probably could have yeeted her off a cliff. Yeah, well, Grelid's still here. What was the... it was... Uh, cock injured? Who, who do I take? Nazim or Heimskir? Oh, people really don't like Nazim. I mean, he's rich, brags about being rich, and treats everyone like shit. At least the preacher believes in something, I guess. I don't know, I can't believe I'm defending the annoying preacher that I've known about for ten years, and have tried to kill for ten years. Nazim would own NFTs. I don't think he would just own them. He would bring them to Whiterun for the very first time. Those flames get out of control, and you're gonna wish they hadn't. <clears throat> what was the um the pyramid scheme with the berry, the acai berry, where people were like pyramiding the fuck out of that? How many times has Nazim died by now? Can we go one day without talking about NFTs? Nah, I like- I like talking about them, in fact. I think they're kind of fun. They're- they're fun to make fun of. Fungibul. Fu Fungibal. This... This good. Check out my alien. It's nice. A beautiful alien person that I like. The Asayi pyramid scheme was called Mona V. My neighbor got into that years ago. Yeah. There were a lot of people I knew that got into that shit. You can ask anything it's anything. like, I remember there was one point where you would just talk to people and they would randomly bring up how, you know, like, are you stressed out, bro? Are you sleeping okay? Like, yeah. Well, if, if you're not, then uh, you should check out this cool acai juice. I think you'd like it, bro. My God, Barbus, please. Like, just inserting their product into a moment of real conversation. Like a podcaster brings up their product while trying to talk about something completely random. You know, you listen to the podcast and they have a moment of silence and it's like... God, I think there was one that Mark Marin did and I couldn't fucking believe it. It wasn't this, but I'm gonna give you an example. It was like, you know, and uh, it's, it's unfortunate because Betty White made it to 99. And, uh, you know, you could too, if you just check out this cool product. It's like, it was something so blatant, it might not have even been him. It might have been someone else, but... It's like you're listening to... You're listening to a podcast, and, like, you have someone pouring their heart out to you, and then they just segue into an ad read, and it's like, what's real? Barnabas, you've been making it very difficult to move that corpse. Is Raid Shadow Legends a pyramid scheme? I, I don't know. Uh, maybe. <clears throat> you want to hear something funny? I'm 
I'm gonna say something kind of fun and funny. Check this out. Do you want to know how recently I got asked to shill Raid Shadow Legends? Because I'm going to tell you how recently. January 19th, 2022. Okay. I've just typed Raid Shadow Legends into my email. 38 results. This is the one, the, the, you know, the one where people reach me for video game offers and stuff like that. I haven't responded to a single one of them. And it's like, they're still... I mean, I'm not that popular and I'm not that good at selling product. I admire the dedication. So anyway, um, where, what should I do now? I guess it's kind of late. I might want to... Like, stop this. But, uh... Is there anything quick that I could do? Anything fun and quick? Maybe it's time to stop. Suplex a granny again. Well, I'm looking at the, uh... The list of things that were added to this new... Anniversary edition. We've seen... I think most of the good stuff. There's still some armor packs. There's the Shadow Foot Sanctum. Did I get that? With secret sewer entrance and easy access to the Thieves Guild. I think I might have done that. It's a new player home in the Riften Ratway. I'm almost positive I did that. Uh... Because there's still more homes that I've yet to acquire. Bitter Cup? What the fuck is the Bitter Cup? It's just an artifact. It looks like a trophy. Bloodshill Manor. I guess I could go to Nazim's farm real quick. And then I'll stop. It's a Tundra Homestead, was it? Or Chilfurrow Farm? Oh, it's real! Guess he does own a fucking farm. It's winter sand that doesn't exist. I mean, I guess I'm the new new owner of this place now. That is so close to a level up. God, please. Were you going to get the gray fox's cowl or whatever? Oh yeah, that was something I was going to do. I just picture the fallout irradiated version of this with the two heads.
Well, that's not what I expected that to do. Thanks, Goblin. And again, too. What's happening? No, it's good. Last witness killed. No, yeah, no, this is the cell phone version. That's all it is the TikTok version. I guess you could kind of usually get it to fix. Alright, I don't think I have any real energy left to do, like, a real quest. This ended up being pretty insane. And there were a lot more unexpected moments, well, than I expected. I'm going to take a look at uh, Kriken's mod, I think, next time. I'm just going to talk to him and see when he's going to update it. And if he updates it, I'll, I'll probably wait for the next big update for it, because I think he's updating it, like, real, real soon. So that way Twitch chat can spawn quests and do horrible things. So yeah, thank you for watching more Skyrim. I'm gonna take a look and see if we got any bingos. And, uh, I appreciate you stopping by and watching this live. I will tell you that I have more of that Nobody Saves the World game. I think there's another Hitman episode. I did finish... What did I finish? Um, Eternal Cylinder. And I have some more interesting things to show you at some point in the future. Interesting games. I don't know what else to say about that, but yeah. And some some other segments. Yeah, I saw the um, the VR support for Hitman. I saw Jerma playing it, I saw Kriken playing it, and I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to check it out because I don't have Game Pass. And I'm not I guess I'm just not that interested in Hitman VR, but maybe in the future. Alright, I'm going to save here. Thank you again. Let's do the bingo. Oh, let's, let's do the plimbo. All right, here we go. Uh, yes. I know I did it, but I, I also... I did a quest line from a previous playthrough, but knowing that I did it... Definitely did some people watching. I Did I make a plus two joke? I guess that's subjective. Okay. Definitely that. Vinny visits his home. I, I don't... Scritch is still dancing. Friendly NPC ruins Vinny's stealth for sure. Praises Sky UI. I don't think I praised Sky U. I, I kind of always do. You praised it with the groups. Okay, I'll accept that. First bingo. Teleports, new follower. 
references old streams. Vinny talks about how there can't possibly be any more bugs. Is proven wrong. No. Wildlife gets stuck. True. The dog got stuck in a specific animation. Suplex. Just works. Vinny does the bidding of yet another Daedric Lord. Yeah. In fact, yes. I aggro a group of NPCs. Yep. Vinny can't find a place on the map. Yep. Gets one-shotted. I'm going to say yeah. I got one-shotted, right? Like, I, I know I got killed very quickly on several occasions. Vinny can't remember something he did five seconds ago. That's the only one that I'm not so sure about. We got a quad bingo. There was a mage that got you with blizzards. Or a, a, quint, a quintingo. Can't remember if he couldn't remember. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna do a questionable one just to get five bingos. I'll stick with the four. That's a pretty good bingo night. That's like brain blast levels. This game just keeps delivering. It really, really does. Anyway, thank you for watching once again. Take care. Uh, see you whenever I see you. I don't know when I'll stream next. I don't really have a specific time. But, you know, it could be over the next, over the weekend or early next week. And uh, I'll see you around. Good night. You're a cow.